All right, battlers, the Go Battle League has officially switched to the Master League, and these are some of my first Master League battles. I lose a lot in this video, trainers. I win a few, but either way, we're going to learn a lot about this brand new meta that we've just been introduced to. My first opponent is Monkey Cat. He leads at Swampert, and my Metagross wants nothing to do with it. I swap into my Dragonite, and out comes the hard counter Togekiss. Even though Dragonite is ranked so highly on PV Pokes rankings for the Master League at number four overall, it really has no answer for Togekiss unless you're using something like Return or Hyper Beam, which are normal type attacks. But otherwise, the, with the recommended moveset, Dragonite has no protection against Togekiss, and you're going to see a lot of Togekiss in the Master League. I do take that Flamethrower with my Metagross. Again, still trying to test the limits here and see what my Pokemon can and cannot tank in the Master League, because it's very different. I fire off that Earthquake there, and it lands. My opponent, thinking it was a bluff, allows it through, which is huge for us. Even bigger, they spend their energy. In comes my last Pokemon Dialga and out comes my opponent's best buddy Dialga as you can tell by that badge on its shoulder. Now this Dialga does have a lower CP than mine so I'm going to attempt to Dragon Breath it down and then Dragon Breath down that Swampert because there's no way I can work through two shields. Out comes Swampert and one Mud Shot will take down our Dialga. Very fun first game of the Master League. In game two I lead my Dragonite into Metagross. This is not a great matchup for us so I swap here into my Tyranitar. Again still getting familiar with the meta here trainers I realized that was a pretty awful swap uh, this Tyranitar is going to get eaten alive by a Meteor Mash so I have to give it shields I do fire off that crunch there to try to put some shield pressure on my opponent and because I'm already committed with the swap in I'm just going to stick it through with my Tyranitar firing off a second crunch out comes a best buddy Mewtwo I fire this off and it does a ton of damage against Psychic type Mewtwo we're actually able to smack down the Mewtwo to KO it in comes my opponent's Dragonite, and this is a purified Dragonite, which I assume has returned. I'm going to shield bait there with the Dragon Claw, but I'm out of shields as well, battlers. So this opponent is going to fire off its own Dragon Claw, taking down my Dragonite. I do have two Pokemon available, but my Tyranitar is very weak. I bring in my Metagross here, and my opponent switches into their own Metagross. Here, I am able to get to the Meteor Mash first, which is really, really nice. We're able to take down my opposing Metagross, and out comes Dragonite. I'm actually going to be able to bullet punch this down for the win. Going into game two, I'm going to open with Machamp and see how that works. Here comes Dialga. Dialga is part steel type, so these counters are going to add up. In comes Togekiss, though, and I have my own answer in the form of Metagross. So this is a good, good position for me. I just have to make sure that my third Pokemon is going to be able to counter my opponent's third Pokemon. I do shield that flamethrower there because I'd rather go into this next matchup with a ton of energy to try to burn some shields. In comes Swampert, and I go straight for the Earthquake like we saw in game one, but my opponent does shield. Trying to get up to another Earthquake here, but I'm just going to fire off the Meteor Mash instead. This is actually great because it burns my opponent's second shield. Uh, now here, they do not want to commit to the farm down, so they are going to fire off the Hydro Cannon, but they did get some extra Mud Shot, so I know they have some energy. I do have that Dragonite there, which is an excellent counter for Swamper. Uh, as you can tell here, these Hydro Cannons do essentially nothing to this Dragonite. It is such a beast, such a tank. I'm going to get up to that Dragon Claw, but hold my energy. In comes another Hydro Cannon, and I'm anticipating a swap, but this swap does not come, so I fire off my Dragon Claw here against the Swampert. Uh, probably an opportunity to farm a little bit more there. In comes this Dialga, and I go straight for Dynamic Punch with my Machamp, and we take down Dialga for the win. Going into this battle, trainers, I decide to lead that Metagross, hoping to catch a Togekiss lead, but instead we end up in the mirror. So you do not want to get hit by an Earthquake if you are Metagross here. Uh, we actually reach a CMP tie, but my opponent wins it. I'm going to shield up, and it is the Earthquake, so a very, very good call on our part. I go for the Earthquake in return, and that will get shielded as well. So we are back to square one. In comes Machamp, and out comes Giratina Origin form. So I'm going to fire off this Rock Slide here against a Giratina, and trainers, you might notice that my my Machamp is running Dynamic Punch and Rock Slide. I do not have Cross Chop on this one because this is a holdover from my Raid Machamps where they were all running Counter and Dynamic Punch. Uh, so I probably need to TM that over if I'm going to get serious about using Machamp in the Master League. Either way, Giratina brings us down. I decided to bring in my Dialga here and a few Dragon Breaths are going to really chip away at this Giratina Origin. He does get off the Shadow Ball though. I was hoping that was Ominous Win. After Giratina fires that Shadow Ball, my opponent switches back into that Metagross. And as you can tell, its health is a little 
little bit lower because Machamp got a few attacks off on it. I called the bluff there, not expecting Earthquake. I expected Meteor Mash, and that's exactly what it was, so I did not shield. I returned fire with my own Meteor Mash to bring down my opponent's Metagross, and this match is still anybody's game. In comes Giratina, and I bullet punch it down. Out comes Dragonite, and I try to get to the Meteor Mash, but we don't quite make it. I do have a very weak Dialga here, and this is a precarious situation for us battlers. I'm going to try to maybe get to a double Iron Head here, but I don't think it's possible uh, with the energy generation rate of Dragon Breath. He does shield that first Iron Head, and that Dragonite will bring us down with Dragon Claw. Going to this game against Bacon Strips, I do lead my Metagross into my opponent's Metagross. Trainers, this is my favorite battle of the video. You really want to stick around for this one. Here, I look for the swap there, but I don't quite get there in time. I do decide to shield up the Meteor Mash, which was the wrong move here. I over farm a bit more, hoping that he would think I was going for a Meteor Mash, uh, but he does correctly shield the Earthquake. I make a swap here into Lugia. I'm having a ton of fun with Lugia, trainers. It is actually the bulkiest Pokemon of available to you in the Master League, and guess what? My opponent has one as well. So we did tank that Meteor Mash. We are at a health disadvantage, but I do have some additional energy stored up and ready to go. I do fire off my second Sky Attack here against the opposing Lugia, just trying to chip it down, but it is such a work in progress to take down something like this. He hits us with the Hydro Pump, and it does bring us deep into the red. We get to another Sky Attack. The general rule of thumb with Lugia is to fire off that Sky Attack as it's more energy efficient. I do swap here into Dialga, Expecting the sky attack, I do not shield and it will be a sky attack. Not very effective damage. In comes my opponent's Dialga and we have the same team battlers. This is so interesting to me that we both pick these teams. I do fire off a few more Dragon Breaths here, trying to bring down my opponent, and my Dialga is so weak, I'm going to let it go here to the Iron Head. I do have a couple of options here, not sure what to go in with, but I decide to go in with Metagross. I do have that Meteor Mass just about ready, so I fire that off immediately. It does bring down that Dialga, and check out these sacrificial swaps coming up, battlers. That switch timer ticks down for my opponent. In comes the opposing Metagross. I bring out Lugia to absorb this Meteor Mash. Everything is going great. This is exactly what I want to see. I bring in my Metagross here, and look at this, battlers. In comes my opponent's Lugia to suck up this Meteor Mash. Wonderful, wonderful play by my opponent. They now have the energy lead. They are going to win this match because I sunk all of my energy into that Lugia with the Meteor Mash. I do get up to one, and I think I might be able to get to two, but I'm just going to get outpaced here. I do fire off that one to burn the shield, but here comes the final attack. Very GG's, very well played. Such an awesome battle. Going to this game, I lead with my Tyranitar and I run into Melmetal. I do not want to get a hit by Superpower, so I swap here into Kyogre. I know Melmetal is not packing a heavy duty electric type attack, so I think Kyogre is pretty safe here. My opponent does shield that Surf. Here, I'm hoping it's not a Superpower, but it is. Uh, we take that no problem anyway though because Kyogre is such a bulky generalist in the Master League. This Snorlax comes in and hits us with a Body Slam, but we survive. We're actually able to get to a Surf, which is really nice for us. Just trying to chip down the Snorlax or get a Shield, and we get the Shield. So, Battlers, we are up two Shields with two Pokemon. I decide to come in here with Tyranitar. Tyranitar Smackdowns are going to slowly chip down this Snorlax. Expecting an Earthquake here, I do Shield, and it is the Earthquake. A really good thing that we shielded that there. These Licks are not doing much damage at all, just barely taking down Tyranitar's health and the body slam is going to do very little damage as well. So Tyranitar has a boatload of energy, in comes that Melmetal and I'm going to try to go here for a double crunch. I do fire off that first one, but it is a CMP tie, and my opposing Melmetal gets to an attack. I am going to shield that superpower, and then here comes my opponent's Mewtwo, so I go right for the crunch here. Tyranitar is a great Pokemon. I think there's still a lot of debate about whether or not you should be running Bite or Smackdown, but I'm really enjoying Smackdown so far. That Ice Beam is going to almost bring us down, but we barely hold on. In comes that Melmetal, and out comes Metagross. All I need, trainers, is one Meteor Mash to wrap this game up. Here comes another superpower from Melmetal, and and it is not enough. That defense and attack stat drop, and I know this will KO. GG's. For this battle, I lead my Metagross into Giratina Origin. This is not a good situation for me because Metagross is part Psychic and those Shadow Claws will add up. My opponent switches here into Swampert to face off against my Dialga and I fire off the Iron Head here, just trying to do some chip damage to the Swampert. Here, I think this might be an Earthquake, so I decide to shield and it is, so correct call by us. I'm gonna try to Dragon Breath down the Swampert knowing that I can take at least one Hydro Cannon 
My Dialga survives that matchup. I did lose a shield though. In comes my opponent's Melmetal. Melmetal is a great Pokemon in the Master League. I still need to build one so I can try it out. But in comes that Giratina Origin after I switch in my Metagross. He is going to fire off the Ominous Wind, and I do not spend a shield there. I try to get to the Earthquake here, Battlers, but I think I can survive one more Ominous Wind and we do. I get to that earthquake down there just with a sliver of my health and my opponent does shield. So we did burn my my opponent's first shield which is really great. In comes my Dialga and this Dragon Breath is going to melt it. I realize here that Dialga is my best opportunity to bring down this Giratina Origin so I do invest my final shield in it. My opponent does have one more shield and that Melmetal. I decided to bring in my Lugia here and this is a very close battle trainers. As you can tell those rock slides are going to come fast and furious. Matter of fact here comes a second rock slide which is going to bring our Lugia deep into the yellow. I cannot tank another one and I think I can go up for the hydro pump but I decided to go for sky attack instead. It does burn that final shield which is great. I get to, I get to another sky attack but we are unable to fire that off. I do decide to bring in my Dialga here at the end and hit that thunder. Let's see if it's enough battlers. And it is not. That, that Melmetal survives and fires off the superpower for the win. Going to this next battle, I lead Metagross into my opponent's Dialga. This is not a terrible matchup for us. I'm going to try to get to that Earthquake as quickly as possible. My opponent switches into that Giratina Origin, and I respond with my own Dialga. So a lot of the same Pokemon we've been seeing throughout the video, uh, but again, just learning the hard counters and learning what moves to use and when is going to be half the battle in Master League. I know it's very intimidating so far. It's definitely intimidating to me, but we have to hold on and see what we can learn because it just makes us better battlers in the end. This Kyogre is going to fire off a charge move here, trying to prevent me from getting to my charge move, which I was very close to. I actually take a lot less damage from Waterfall than I thought I would, uh, which is a really nice thing to learn about Dialga versus Kyogre. So I do go here for the Sky Attack with my Lugia. Lugia is such a tanky Pokemon. The only thing I'm concerned about is Blizzard. In comes my opponent's Dialga though, and I realize it might have a Thunder ready, but it's just the Iron Head. So I do swap here into Metagross, hoping the quick swap action will catch him off guard, but he does not. He shields, or excuse me, she shields up that Earthquake. Here trying to get to another Earthquake, my opponent gets to a charge move. I do have an opportunity to bring down Dialga here, so I'm going to take it. I'm going to shield up that Iron Head and fire off the Earthquake. It does bring down Dialga. My opponent's last Pokemon, Ky Kyogre, comes out, and it spends his energy here, trainers, which is huge for me in this match. My Lugia comes in, and I need one or two more Sky Attacks to bring down the Kyogre and the final sky attack will actually do it. Going to the last battle of the video trainers, if you have liked this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to see more. This is my first Master League video, but plenty are more. Plenty more are on the way. Here comes Metagross versus Dialga, and I'm not going to shield here, expecting the Iron Head, and it's actually Thunder. Thunder takes a huge chunk out of Metagross, much more than I was comfortable with because I wanted to get to at least two charge moves, but now with my health in this position, I don't think I can, and I was correct. After that Thunder hit, there was no way I could have gotten to a second charge charge move. So I bring in my Dialga here to face off in the mirror. I do take a thunder from that. As you can tell, not very effective. Dialga's dragon typing really comes in handy here as it is a great generalist in the Master League meta. Here comes Metagross and I did TM my Dialga to Draco Meteor. I was just so tired of losing in my matches and not having a strong enough move to really punch my opponents when I needed to. So I TM'd away thunder and went for uh, Draco Meteor instead. My opponent is gonna fire up a charge attack. It will be Earthquake here against Kyogre, which we shield. In comes Giratina Altered. We have not seen very much of the big six-legged boy so far in the Master League, but I do think it does have some play. I'm going to fire off the Blizzard here against my opponent, and this will do a ton of damage, but it's not enough to bring down this Giratina. This is a very, very close battle. Dragon Claw will almost bring down Kyogre. I switch here into my Dialga. One more waterfall does the trick. Trainers, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe for more Go Battle League and Sylph Arena footage. Thank you so much for watching until the end. I appreciate you so much. I'll see you in the next one.